Welcome to the anime history for uh, the week ending October 4th, 2019. Look back at some of the major moments in anime history uh, that occurred this past week. Starting back in 1982 with the October 3rd premiere of Super Dimension Fortress Macross. This was uh, one of the early real robot anime series. So uh, pivoting from the cheesy over-the-top Super Robot anime of the 60s and 70s, which can be a lot of fun, but going into a more realistic, gritty direction. Macross, a little more operatic, a little more um, big than, uh, uh, say, Gundam and some of the other real robot series that had come before it. Um, so it could, it could be a little more uh, comedic, could have a little bit, bit more fun than some of those others did, which were uh, very serious sometimes. Um, but Macross uh, proved you could do a lot of things all at once. You could do a, um, you could have drama, romance, action, comedy, all of those things, all in one anime series, and it really, really came together in an effective way. And Macross was hugely popular in Japan. From what people have told me, it was one of the, you know, one of those things that everyone watched. Even if you weren't an anime fan, you still watched Macross, and uh, people really, uh, you know, came for that. Really, really showed up for, for Macross. That, that's that's pretty cool, I think. Um, uh, moving on, a little bit further in history, 1995, we got the premiere of Neon Genesis Evangelion, which you there's a good chance you've heard of. Uh, Evangelion, a very popular and somewhat controversial uh, anime series in a lot of different ways. Um, um, while both trying to be a big popular mecha series, um, it also kind of um, inverts a lot of tropes of mecha series and, and kind of deals with those a lot. And, and made by, by creators who are also big fans. So there's a lot of kind of references to, to classic mecha tropes in there. Uh, and then the, the ending of it kind of goes in a different direction. <laughs> um, early Evangelion uh, does a lot of things, again, sort of drama and comedy and, and um, a lot of romance, but a little bit of that in there. Uh, action, definitely, and then it gets very psychological near the end. Um, it just goes very, you know, um, very much in that in that one direction at the end of the TV series. Um, very popular as well, uh, you know, very huge, and still popular in, in Japan. It, it has stayed. Evangelion is another one of those, those series. That everybody watched Evangelion. It just hit into the mainstream, you know, junior high school students would go to school with, you know, Ray um, charms on their ba <laughs> bag, excuse me, stuff like that. So, Eva, yeah. Big thing um, then and today, um, but also just a, a weird show, right? Kind of one of those things. Then moving on a few years later, Naruto premiered October 3rd, 2002 on TV Tokyo in Japan. One of the big three shonen series of that era, along with One Piece and Bleach. <clears throat> Naruto uh, really trying to uh, reclaim the throne from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, which have been the you know, the big seller for Shonen Jump in the 80s and 90s, uh, and then Shonen Jump had seen a number of, of other successes, but no like really big breakout. And Naruto and, and several and Bleach and One Piece all hit really big uh, back in that period. But Naruto's had the staying power. One Piece as well, obviously, but Naruto seems to have been you know the the, the really big global phenomenon that uh, has stayed with us for for quite a while. So uh, yeah, Naruto. Uh, you know, that's where it all began. Uh, all that that time ago, 2002. Amazing. Um, and then 2003, the original Full Metal Alchemist anime series premiered in Japan back October 4th. The original adaptation of the manga, which I believe was not complete when the anime came out. So the, uh, the ending of the anime series kind of goes off in its own direction. And then we got the... Full Metal, Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood series more recently that uh, went the, the manga direction. But uh, uh, FMA was big because it was pretty popular in Japan, but hit really big in America. One of those just huge success stories over here in America and got uh, a lot of attention, a lot of folks into anime. And it turned into sort of a gateway anime for a lot of folks back at, at that period. Um, this is the early 2000s, so, so um, um, money was kind of thin in the anime industry in general at the time particularly over in the, the West and in America. And uh, FMA really boosted a lot of sales there and kind of kept the industry afloat to, uh, to an extent. So uh, those are four of the, the major anime series that premiered this week in Japan back in the past. Hope you found this interesting. See you again soon.